So now we're going to do the belly bones and split it. Make sure you get this last one. That last guy can be a little bit tough. But this is going to be just like any other fish. Just make sure you get under them. Get your knife at that right angle. And if you're high enough in it, you'll be able to see it right behind this, this little membrane that coats their, coats their stomach. If you leave a little bit, you know, you can always go back and trim it off. If you take too much, it happens. On the smaller northerns, that happens a lot. Then from here, what we're going to do, there's what we always call the mud vein kind of right there. You're going to cut that out. You're going to split this section. Grab it. Pull it apart. Grab this. Pull that out. And now that's all taken. You got your two slabs here. This is your belly. This is now completely filleted, full of zero bones you can cut that to whatever size you want and it's ready to eat this portion is going to be your back portion this still has your y bones in it so this is what most people don't like this is what gives people the problems this is how you do four fillets off of the northern pike versus the five fillet method so you cut that little section of tail off because there's no bones in it you'll be able to feel and see all these white little bones right here Take your knife, I like to use the point of your knife, pinch it, helps you get a good grip, and as you run it down right along that edge, you can hear it hitting every single one of those bones. That means you went deep enough, then you just run your knife right along, open that cut up, riding all of those bones. You don't want to cut through those bones, you just want to ride them to make sure you can peel that flesh up. Flip it over, get that little tunnel in there. Take your knife, make sure you get a steep angle so that you're going over the bones, and then just ride it on through. Putting a little pressure with your other hand really helps out. Swipe out at the end, now you're left with it split like this. You grab it, and if you went far enough through, you can get a good grip, it just pulls out like a zipper. That's it, now this portion has none of the Y bones in it, and these are your Y bones right here. It is that easy to fly up a northern pike. <laughs>